Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it, say it again. Rejoice. Say it, say it again. Be joyous. What would you name your pet rock? Tyler. Bobber. Why? In honor of the counselor, Bobber. Who do you think is better? Robin? Or the Green Lantern? Green Lantern. Yes, if you could comfort a weeping tree, what would you tell it? I would tell it to stop crying. By starting in the Garden of Eden, humankind let go of that eternal connection that God provided us and grabbed on to sin instead. And there's no way we're shaking free from that grip on our own. But God, loving us enough and wanting to offer us that eternal connection anyways, despite what we did, came down to earth as a humble man. And while here on earth, like 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, he became sin so that we wouldn't have to, and he rescued us. But guys, that rescue wasn't free. That rescue wasn't easy. That rescue wasn't painless. It cost him dearly. It cost him everything. But he took the hit. And just as importantly, he rose again so that now we could be connected and abide in and worship a living, powerful God. Because of what Jesus did, that eternal connection is back. But now it's your turn. What are you going to do with this abiding connection? You see, Jesus wants to abide with you eternally. But the question is, do you want to abide with him? of mercy never ceasing call for songs of loudest praise teach me some melodious song sung by flaming tongues above praise the mountain fix upon it mount of God's reach Thy goodness, like a feather, 
find my wandering heart to prone to wander Lord I feel prone to leave the God I love here's my heart Lord take and seal it prone to Oh, God.